nice. We actually did as well. Oh, that was brilliant. Hey everyone, hope you're good. I'm Timo and we're back on CSGO with a pretty nice trade up that I'm going to show you today. Please drop a like on the video, subscribe down below and let's take a look at how the Horizon Collection can help you bump up your funds a bit for trade ups or buying some skins. I also stream CSGO games and trade ups over on Twitch and you can check that out with the link down below. So this trade up is another one in the line of broken trade ups where you can actually get a 100% chance to profit. So whichever outcome you get, you can still make at least a small amount of money after the Steam tax. We've seen a few of these in the past with the Dust 2 one, the Revolver one, the Prisma 2 one, and of course the Fracture Restricted to Classified variations. Now for this trade up, we're just using the Horizon collection and the trade up is from Restricted to Classified. We've got all 10 input skins in field tested condition and you have to keep the average flow over all 10 of these skins below 0 0.1875 and that will get you two of the three Horizon outcomes, the Famas Eye of Athena and the Sword Off Devourer, both in minimal wear. The Famas and the Sword Off have a more forgiving flow outcome than the standard 0 to 1 range, so you can take advantage of that, and with the M4 Nightmare being a decent play skin, it holds a reasonable value and will sell for the higher end of the market price with its good field tested float. That means that we get a few pence profit at least with the M4, and then around £1 with the Sword Off, and then over £1 with the Famas as the best outcome. So we've got three of these to try, let's see what we get from the first attempt. Nice, there we go, that is a good start. So that is the FAMAS Eye of Athena and that is the exact thing that we want from this trade up. That is the best outcome that you can get. Currently you can sell these for about £4.26 on the Steam market. So it's about £1.17, £1.16, somewhere around there that you'll get after the Steam tax. There you go, it comes with a 0 0.13311 float, so decent one into minimal wear. And yeah, that can sell now for yeah over a pound profit with the Steam tax. So that or the other minimal wear skin, the Devour, are the two that we really want to find from this. The Nightmare just offers us like a kind of bailout small profit, I guess, in a way. But that's a really nice start, and uh, we're going to try three of these today. So we've got another couple still to come. Okay, so let's roll another one of these. This is the same setup as before. The floats have changed ever so slightly, but it's very similar. It's just below 0 0.1875 average float over all 10 field-tested input skins is what you want to achieve here. Now I do appreciate that these are not readily available on the market, the skins that you will want to use as the inputs, so you will have to have a bit of time and effort put into sniping some from the market and maybe set yourself a few buy orders for them as well. I got all of this together in a couple days or so with some snipes and then also had some buy orders up while I was either live on stream or out of the house or sleeping so I couldn't be looking for stuff, but the floats are definitely achievable with a bit of effort. Even if you pick up a couple of bad buy orders and you have to resell them at a tiny loss, or you have to overpay one or two pence for a couple of floats, you'll still break even on the Nightmare, and of course, you'll make profit on the Famas or the Sword Off, so you can get away with not having everything perfect here, and it's still a pretty solid trade-up. So, time for another attempt. We're going to hope for a Famas again, but what are we going to get? Okay, nice. That was the Sword Off Devourer, so not quite as good as the Famas, but that's still a really good outcome. That nets us literally £1 after the Steam Tax. So, second best thing behind the Famas, but still a nice little profit there. So let's have a little look at the Sword Off. That one will be in minimal wear. Pretty cool Sword Off there. It comes with a 0 0.1496 float, so just into MW, but that's really good. And again, nice little profit. So overall now we're just over £2 profit after the Steam Tax from those trade-ups, which is nice. So we've got one more to try, and hopefully we can avoid the M4 and actually get the two outcomes that we want from all three trade-ups. That'll be really good. So let's see how we get on. Alright, and now let's do it again, and this time we're cutting the float really fine, only just below 0 0.1875 average, and the sword off is going to come with a 0 0.14998 float, so only just into minimal wear. I really hope that this trade-up helps you with some ideas though. You can also do this trade-up by adding in one or two skins from the Breakout collection if you can't find all of the floats with Horizon. Um, and the only loss from that would be the 5-7 Foul Play with the Glock and the Deagle from Breakout still being profitable. But just in case you're struggling to find all 10 skins from Horizon, it's another option that you can try with mixing in something else with almost no loss. So just a little tip, I guess. Um, for this version though, with all 10 from Horizon, we obviously want to get us at the FAMAS Eye of Athena for the best money and then we'll have a little look at exactly what we managed to get at the end from doing all three of these trade-ups. So last one, 
Let's see an eye of Athena here. Come on. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So one of each, I guess. One Famas, one Sword Off, and one Nightmare. 33.33% chance for each one, and we got one of each. So exactly on point, I guess, for what we should have got from the trade-up. But that's an M4 Nightmare there, and looks pretty clean. This is field tested, and it comes with a 0 0.1874 float. But still, apart from like obvi the obvious wear that comes around the kind of bits here that along the lines, it's not too bad. The overall actual skin is pretty pretty clean. So with quite a nice field tested float that one should have decent resale value and will sell at the top end of the market price. So you can still make yourself at least a few pence even if you get the M4A1S Nightmare just because of it having a good float and not being like 0 0.37 or whatever. So that's pretty cool at least and after the three trade ups there we managed to make ourselves just over two pounds or so. So we've got like a pound on the Devourer, we got like one pound 17 or something on the Famas and then we got like 10 11 p on the Nightmare. So, you know, it's still good. Overall, three trade-ups there, still making a profit. But it's just one of those ones where as long as you can find the floats, you can just keep doing these. And as long as you're kind of hitting the sword-offs or the famasses, you're getting at least 66% chance to profit. I mean, for me, anything over 50% odds in your favor is good. So I think the potential for this is great with it being at 66 to 100, basically. And definitely worth taking advantage of while you can. So good luck hitting those famas eye of Athenas. And a huge thank you to you all for watching. Cheers, guys. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.